welcome back to Talk About It with Shaw and Key. Hello. Hope everybody's doing well tonight, morning, yes. or wherever you guys are. We hope you guys are doing well. So question, I have a question for you. Do you like when people tell you they're going to do something and don't do it? Mm-mm. Do you like when people say, you know what, I got you. I, I got you. No, I, I, I got you. I'll be back. I got you. And I'm, I'm going to call you. I got you for real. They be walking off doing like I call you. <laughs> you like that? I don't. I don't like that. So what we're going to talk about tonight then is stop lying. Mm. Stop lying. Pretty tough. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's consequences for people telling fibs or lies or whatever y'all want to call it. Still a lie. Mm. So let's start off with um, Cain and Abel. Mm. Now, Cain um, murdered Abel. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because Abel gave a more excellent offering than Cain, right? Yes. So when the Lord asked him, did he ask him where his brother, right? He said, am I my brother's keeper? Mm. That's what that was his response that to was his, our father. Right. <laughs> Am I my brother's keeper, Ooh. bro? Like I mean, what's I mean, mm. yes, me for? You know what I'm saying? That's how most people do when they lie. <laughs> they get offended. They get offensive. Mm. You know what I mean? So but what was his but what was his um what was his uh uh punishment for that? Tell us. He the Lord said you'll be a vagabond. Mm. Which means Which means he he'll be wondering he, throughout the earth hmm. just wondering throughout the earth that was his that was his um punishment hmm. for lying and then gonna lie to god to man and then gonna get mad hmm. am i my brother's keeper another one another uh story we talked um you know that that's in the bible is anias and <clears throat> and sophia sophia mm-hmm. so and i heard that thing today too he was talking about how they went and sold the land and they were supposed to give all of it, but they gave some of it. Mm. So they said, Hey, did you, you know, is this all of it? It is all of, you know, what you got for selling the land. Mm. And they said, yeah, but it held some back. Then he dropped dead first. The husband passed. The husband passed. Right on. Like that. Then the wife comes in and, and repeat the same exact lie. Mm. And then she drops dead Ooh. for lying, mm. for lying. Mm. And it's real because you know what? We've all been there. Oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. sometimes we don't even mean it. We mm-hmm. are, we'll just like somebody, uh, my pastor was just recently talking about this on Sunday about praying, saying mm-hmm. you're going to pray for somebody, but you're not, you don't do it. Mm-hmm. So we, we should we should not i think that what we we're so quick to respond sometimes and i think about it and sometimes our heart intentions yeah our intentions are to do it but i think that what what i hear in this as my husband you know the lord dropped this in his spirit and i know it was god dropped it in his spirit because i've been hearing it so many times since he talked about what god has showed him about this message about lying Mm -hmm. um But I was just going to say, with our heart intentions, what we should do is always speak with wisdom. Mm -hmm. And so we should always take time. And it is Mm -hmm. a process. It's learning. We learn and learn until Jesus comes back. To quiet ourselves and think about what we say before we're speaking. Because some people are just big speakers. I mean, big talkers. And they just talk, talk, talk. And Mm -hmm. they're not thinking sometimes about what they're saying. But whenever we're saying something that is not true, it is a lie. Right, especially you tell somebody you I love you, and I don't really love them. It's mm-hmm. just a it's just a a term that people use sometimes. Like you know, mm-hmm. I love you, and you know they really don't. Mm-hmm. They got this feeling towards them, Ooh. but they'll hug us. You know, I love you, Ooh. but then they, you know, and and I was reading, and I was mm-hmm. as as I was, you know, preparing for this. You know, in Proverbs six is like seven things. That's an abomination mm. to God. One of those is a lying tongue. Jesus, help us, Lord. A lying tongue. Ooh. So, I guess the, I guess what I'm saying is that, like my wife said, just make sure, just think about it before you blurt out something 
Like, you know, if somebody said, hey, you know, um, uh, I need some help doing so so this weekend. I got you. Just being a man, please. I got you. Ooh, did you go there? Did he yeah, just say yeah, man, yeah. I, did. I said man, please. Now, I got you. I'll be there. And then when the weekend come, don't show up. Oh, you know, I, I forgot I had so and so to do. That's why what my wife said is so key. Give yourself that that little bit of time to think before you just respond respond just let me check my schedule first i get back to you yes don't just blurt out like you i, I, I got you yes. yes you know it's so, so that's what i'm saying it's so key so my word our word is stop lying wow this is big and it's such a it's so it's so big because i, I mean as i'm thinking about it and i'm, I'm serious i mean i've gotten that serious mode because it is so true. We can open our mouths so quickly and not in our tensions are sometimes now everybody's intentions are mm-hmm. not pure. Mm-hmm. Their intentions are not. And it's just because that is a spirit. It's, it's because it's a lion spirit <sighs> because it is a spirit. Compulsive lies. And we all such with some of us, like I said, we all mm-hmm. had to get delivered from something. My thing might not have been lying. My thing might have been, I don't know, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, cause we all have a thing that we've been you know, constantly yep. being delivered from. Yes, yes. So yes. if it is, I pray tonight if there is someone that is that listens to this message, mm-hmm. that this message will be a message that will bring deliverance. Yes. That you will recognize that God will speak to your heart through these words and that you will come out of that that, that spirit of, of lying. It's, it's a it's deceptive. It's mm-hmm. it's just it's ugly. It's an ugly spirit. I was telling my husband the other day. I walk in this park. In this park, when I get to this place, they used to have trash cans in mm-hmm. that, that place, and the trash cans have been moved for when I tell you months. I haven't seen the trash cans, but when I go by that same spot, I still smell that stench. Mm. So when I was telling my husband about it, I was like going by that same spot, smelling that stench. Even though the trash is not there, it's mm-hmm. still some residue. So what I pray tonight is that this message will break even residue that's left. Where mm-hmm. you have been going through a process where you have been getting receiving mm-hmm. your healing and deliverance from the spirit of lying and deception. That God will remove even the stench, the residue that's left. In Jesus mm-hmm. name. That's my prayer for you, for for you all, that we will walk as people of integrity. Right. And, and we, honesty. We pray against the spirit of a lying. Yes. Because that's a mm-hmm. that's a spirit that can get mm-hmm. you in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Deep trouble. Especially in not just only for marriages, but in in marriages, mm-hmm. relationships, mm-hmm. jobs. Mm-hmm. Like it's the the lying spirit is so deep that little kids Mm. can tell you a fib Mm. and don't even know what lying is. That's the truth. It is the truth. Where did it come from? It's a spirit. So we pray tonight together, joining together, praying against the spirit of lying, that lying, compulsive lying spirit. We pray against it in Jesus' name. That's all I got, baby. Amen. Have a good night, y'all. Good night.